Not quite done. Not quite done. Ooh, precious anvils. <laughs> Hello. Episode three. If you couldn't already tell, I've made some progress on my base. Off screen, I went mining, I went finding materials, I started building up this base that I started creating as you can see. It is a small house, but it is a nice house so far. It has no roof, <laughs> it has no second floor, it barely even has a first floor. But I figured that I'm not a builder, I'm not a builder, but I was inspired by a building that I saw on Pinterest and I figured why not adapt it to my current living quarters and I felt it would look good especially in dark oak since the one that I was looking at is made out of uh, uh, a different kind of wood and I figured it would look better with darker blocks so I was like screw it let me take this build I don't know what the inside looks like I have no clue I only know what the outside shell looks like because there is no video uh, post to the Pinterest it's just a picture of the side so I'm winging it but it's looking good so far uh, if you can already if you can't already tell I've already also moved my animals a little bit I created a stairway down to the vault room I'm gonna dig out the basement later and make it more vault centric okay that that space there is gonna be my vault cove yes it's gonna be like a cave of sorts and it's gonna be a cove it's gonna be dug out a little bit more it's gonna be become more, a little bit more spacious, and I'm gonna make it more ca uh, uh, vault, vault centric. Um, everything's gonna happen down there uh, when it comes to the vault, but all the crafting, all the living, all the building is gonna be done up here. And I'm very, very proud of the work I've done so far. So today, as I've already mentioned in the previous video, today the goal is to get at least one knowledge star, if possible. Now, here's the thing. I don't have a vein I don't have vein I don't have vein miner and I don't have fortune. I don't even have fortune on a, on a pickaxe. So the likelihood of us getting any kind of knowledge star is very slim, unfortunately, because breaking Beniatite does not guarantee a gem. The only way I can do it is if I can get a uh, 16 Beniotite or with self touch, but even then I don't even have self touch. So right now I need to get villagers, which I already did in fact start doing. Off screen, I was uh, creating a little bit of a, a village breeder, and I need to get villagers running up before I can do anything else really. I did create three crystals, however, let's go visit my little village breeder. Hi! very busy at doing anything at the moment but they did create four villagers so I have a little bit of a head start go down here to my basement as you can see I created a little a little pathway up there I dug out the space here to put the animal pens I don't know if I'm gonna keep them here or not it's really more or less just temporary I might move them again uh, I created three crystals, all level four. I never did a level two. I never did a level three crystal. The last episode, I immediately leveled up to four with one vault, which was insane. Uh, 
And I, I still have yet to get any gear. So I'm doing a level 4 vault with no gear. <laughs> which sucks. But on the flip side... Oh, where is it? I have two villagers here that I made. And then... Oh, I have two more villagers here that I made. Uh, so yeah. I do have a bit of a head start on this. But I don't have that much going on for myself right now. I need to get myself some... What are they called again? Some lecterns. I have one, two, three. I may as well make three more because I actually need them anyway. It's made of... Boop. Boop, boop. One, two, three. Cool. Four. Okay, now where to put these guys? That's the real question. I might... I might temporarily just place them right here in the wall. It doesn't go anywhere. See, it's not dug out over there, so this should be perfectly safe to do it here. And I put the lectern like that. You know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this right. How this is considered right, I'm not 100% sure, but it feels right. Just go plop. Cool. And plop. Cool. <laughs> In their place of homing, you shall stay here. Yes. This is. I think it's safe. It's safe. Could be. This is the space that I'm. Oh, yeah, that's fine, too. Cool. Alright. Is this the one? Yeah, it's the one. Well... But... Villagers... Oh! Did not mean to do that to you. Hi! Oh, is it this maybe? There's nothing else there, right? It's just that. He's turning to look there. There we go! You shall stay there, yes. I'll, I'll put it back down there. Uh, you shall all stay here. Nice and safe and sound where no one can get you. Yes. Thank you. While I was breeding up the villagers, I was tempted to just use one of them to create a little farm. Or, not a little farm, but, you know, a farm. A couple of farms. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I'd rather start building my base instead. I think it's coming out pretty good so far. You know? It looks good. It looks good so far. I dug out the whole space inside. And you can't uh, you, you can't access it from the outside yet. But I'm, gonna pl I'm planning on making it out. Well, other than... I do have a little porch area out there, like I said, like I showed you, so, but there is no, like, stairway up here other than from within the cave below, which I don't know if I'm going to keep that permanent or not. I might create a little staircase up there, because there's supposed to be a doorway on that side. I just haven't done it yet. In fact, as you can see, I haven't done anything up here yet. I did, like, I did use, I, I, I started up here a little bit. As you can see, I created a little porch. Yeah, uh, I did start this side, but it goes to nowhere. <laughs> goes to nowhere. Uh, I might do that while off screen, in between vaults or something like that uh, today as well. I'm not 100% sure. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do the roof. As you can see, um, still working on some details here and there. But right now, I think. I'm gonna try. I feel like t I feel like today I should just go in and try a vault as is and hope for the best. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be successful at all. I I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be successful, honestly. But beginner's grace. 
it's a it's a it's an effect that allows me to basically it's it's in previous seasons there was a thing called afterlife and afterlife is still a thing basically what happens is if you die you don't lose your stuff and but at the same time it you you the the artifact drops uh, are halved when it comes to the chances of you getting one so there's a trade-off for getting afterlife and beginner's grace is that beginner's grace goes up to level 20 so as soon as you hit level 20 bam any vaults that you run that's level 20 or higher instantly do not have beginner's grace so you then have to use um, uh, you have to use one of these things here soul flame and this is how you then add afterlife after but again you you you, it prevents you it prevents you from losing your items when you die but then it sets your experience multiplier to 50% so you progress significantly slower so there's always a trade-off when you uh, when you do this kind of thing beginner's grace doesn't have any trade-off because it's, it's meant for people low levels that way they don't always feel like they have to start all over again every single time they die which is a good which is a nice change from previous seasons where there was no beginner's grace there was no there was no such thing like this last season uh which kind of upsets me a little bit that that it is a thing now why couldn't they add it in to begin with but you know it is what it is there's nothing i can do about it now uh so yeah i'm gonna get myself ready for a vault do a little bit of trading real fast before that because I have enough to trade a little bit, not enough to get any real enchantments going. Uh, let me see. Can I get? Okay, I'm gonna quickly sit down some melons because I can. Bucket. Uh, some dirt. Oh ho 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 ho! Hi. No 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 no. Uh, why? Why? The worst mob in the game, bar none, the creeper. They can literally ruin anything in the game. I think they can ruin anything. Anything that 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 has an explosion uh, resistance of like no, any, anything below the maximum can be destroyed by a creeper basically it's fucking annoying i hate them 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 hate 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 them hate them hate them hate them do you understand the word hate i hate them yes i hate them <sighs> fuck now One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still in the dark force here. So at this point of recording and editing this video, I decided that this whole sequence of me chopping down a tree and placing melons down, a whopping four melon seeds, ooh, seemed a bit too boring for how long it was actually taking to get through the footage. So I decided to do something simple, cut it down to a minute, speed it up, do a very quick uh, uh, explanation of what's happening here, and then move on. You know, I was planning on moving the crops around to make it nicer, space them out a bit more, maybe get some pumpkin seeds at some point, so make a space for that as well. I wanted to do something very simple here, not be uh, too boring with it, because the footage is really, the, the, the meat of this episode is supposed to be the vaults anyway, right? So let's get on to the fun stuff. There you go. For now, that'll do. Shortly after I finished placing my crops down and moving them around to where I wanted them, I decided to go looking for some pumpkins. However, I couldn't find any. Instead, I ended up finding a spider spawner really near the surface. I found some trees, chopped them down, placed them down on the ground so that way it looks like a giant arrow from the map, and then decided to go back to my base. This is an extremely important thing to find early game, because now I have resources to use for the vault altar, string for recipes that I need, as well as a spider eyes for potions uh yeah i think I, I, I don't much i can't do much else at the moment i do want to get these guys you know 
leveled up and stuff like that and get the right enchantments but I have to wait for that all to grow because that way I could trade for 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 emeralds there and, and unless I'm looking unless I'm willing to trade books which I don't really want to trade books on their own or or actually I guess I could do paper if I could get paper with the right enchantment Take it. Get leveled up. Mending ten. You're mending twenty two. You're mending ten. Oh, that's so frustrating. Done. You know what? You, sir. Unless you give me something specific, you're double mending for a really high price, for no stupid, for no stupid reason. You know what? You know you, you need to go away. You need to go away. Do we? Do we have? We don't have any cactus, do we? All right. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna. This is not gonna last very long. I don't think I'm gonna do very good because this is a completely different situation where I'm level four and I don't have any kind of a. I don't have any kind of way of actually defending myself in this case very really well, but it is what it is. It is what it is. <sighs> Wish you good luck. I need another six more to create another crystal there. Thank you for your ink sacks. You will be much useful. Thank you for your sacrifice. Uh, okay, I, I know I'm putting it off. I know I'm just delaying the inevitable here, but I, I know. Level 4, and I'm only wearing iron and diamond still. That's, it's a recipe for disaster, let's be honest with ourselves here, people. That, that's not a good thing. That's not a good. That's not a good. This is a bad. This is a very bad. But I gotta do what I gotta do. And what I gotta do is I need to go in there and kick some ass. Yes. Here we go. Come on. It's yellow. Uh, I need, I need ball. Plus one strength. Done. Oh. Oh shit. No, dude, that's not a good. Shoot. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Gonna, oh shoot. I'm gonna die. I don't care. I want to break it. Get rid of it. Help break. Alright, so. Ooh. My first piece of gear. First piece of gear is a sword. Okay. First piece of gear will allow me to will allow me to unalive enemies really oh, hopefully quicker. And 
broken. Here, they're all so freaking loud. Holy sh! dust. He's giving more. Oh, diamond. Yeah. I got one piece of gear so far. Oh, poison. Now, poison. Disperse. <coughs> poison. Disperse. Going to the next room. I have 10 minutes. 10 minutes to do some more exploring. But if I could find some ore spots, I'd be happy with that.
it worth exploring anywhere else? Could I go up here? I should probably go up here just to get over and let's do it. Let's just do it. You know? Is a notification. A catalyst fragment. Okay. up here or do I just bail? Sure we bail soon. I'm already halfway to my next level though. That's crazy. I'm not gonna complain about the results of that. I got a single piece of a uh, single piece of loot. Give me something decent for my first sword ever. Well, it is objectively better than our current sword, so done. See, I go from I go uh, I go from I go from eight damage. Where's my damage per second? DPS, DPS. Twelve point eight to twenty one point two. Done. See, it's over. I'm already objectively better than I was. Um, you shall go down here. I should just create another chest, shouldn't I? At this point, I, I'm living out of what is effectively four four chests, five, six, six chests, seven chests. So yeah, I may as well just make more chests. We have we do have some stone here, we could totally just do this, do this, and boop, boop. Boop, boop, done. Now we can put a chest up there. And not have to worry about it not opening. Cool. Why do I have this melody stuck in my head now? But all in all, I could totally uh, get another netherite pickaxe if I needed to, you know, or another right axe. I actually, do I have any more netherite scrap? I do, I have enough for two more netherite ingots in total. So we got the nuggets here, we got the nuggies. You know, that's, that's, yeah, that's not bad. That's not a bad idea. Netherite axe? Did I get enough for diamonds, though? May, may, no, not enough for, not enough for a, for a brand new fresh diamond axe, but I do have mending. I should probably get a mending book, shouldn't I? No, well, we got the experience points to love, to, to apply it. My first enchanting book ever. On, I'm putting it on my axe. Yes. And then I'm doing this. Boom. That way, while I level, while I uh, regain experience points for the axe. Oh, 
Another growling. They're growling. Now, here's the, here's the thing. How much... Ex we only got the three knowledge essence. How much knowledge essence we have? So this will tell us exactly how far along we are. We got two knowledge shards. We need eight knowledge shards. So we need another nine times six. We need another 54 knowledge essence just to be able to get the knowledge shards required. But even then, we need 16 Beniotite, which we only have one. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to end this episode a little bit earlier than I had intended. I ended up getting way too much footage, and I ended up needing to cut the video in half into two parts because I simply had too much footage to go through. Um, so yeah, uh, this time around, this episode, I only got through one vault. But by the end of the next episode, I promise I will have that one knowledge star. See you next time. Bye!